it's been five days as I'm making this video since the uh, gubernatorial election in Arizona was called for Katie Hobbs, the Democratic candidate. Now, here's the main question. Do I believe that there were shenanigans going on? Yes and no. Yes, I think that there were shenanigans going on, especially in regards to uh, Carrie Lake herself as Secretary of State, which I will get to more in this video. But at the same time, there could you can argue that there may have been a potential issue electronic, electronically within the system with the tabulators and such that honestly it was just supposedly a mere coincidence. I don't, I honestly don't know. Although in my personal opinion, I do believe this is shit shenanigans going on. From my experience, and I'm pretty sure this is different with Arizonans, especially with Razorfist, this has occurred, at least in my opinion, two times in a row. From what from what way Razorfist has been saying, considering that he lives in Arizona, three times since 2018. Yeah, I don't honestly believe that this is coincidence at all. There, either this there's a systemic problem, it. Or it, there is a major issue that, or there has been shenanigans going on that in heavily supports the Democratic Party. And this is one of the reasons why I, I oppose having mail-in ballots, except with uh, people who obviously cannot make it to the ballot, the ballot box and ha have a doctor's note. And of course, those who are in the military or outside of the country, which... Uh, those those make perfect sense to me, but again, there has just been so many problems with Arizona's election that stinks of high heaven. Forget Nevada, forget Pennsylvania. Although to be fair, those those two uh, states do have their own issues with electoral uh, with the electoral process. You have K. Hobbs, the Democrat nominee, who was Secretary of State. This meant that she was in control. Of the electoral system. She was the head of the electoral system. As far back as 2001. Carrie Lake asked her. To recuse herself from the process. Considering that she was the Democratic candidate. She refused. And she has gone so far. As, the, as to re remain in, the, in this position. Till election day. She, Which means. She may have actually been actually been involved in the process of counting the ballots. I don't... The very fact that this... that she did not recuse herself speaks that... Uh, it, it honestly is a bad look for Katie Hobbs. At, and, and there's a potential possibility of there being corruption in Arizona. Okay, let's face it. There is corruption there in Arizona. There's corruption in our own federal government. But I'm di digressing. Then you have Maricopa County officials, election officials, ex explicitly establishing their own political action committee, or a pact as you like to call it, where basically they were, they were never Trumpers, and they were going to do everything in their own power to prevent MAGA Republicans from taking office. And guess what? Many of them still hold seats as election officials. In Maricopa County, a county that has had so many problems, not just in this election, but but also in 2020, in regards to to have having major electoral problems. Yeah, that does not that does not give out a good look if you honestly look at it from object, an objective point of view. And then there's the possibility that due to the due to supposedly the tabulators just malfunctioning on election day of all times that uh, there was voter suppression already Carrie Lake is uh, Carrie Lake has tried to uh, uh, get some new testimony or thousands of affidavits thousands of testimony from Arizona's who were actually affected by this in fact uh, if you guys want you can look at her true social account and she's actually shared a lot of these these videos of people, people mentioning stories about just overall problems about gain and gain to be able to vote. I recall that there was one kid who uh, was a freshman in Arizona State University. He was trying to get, he was trying to uh, vote. He was already registered in August, and this also, and his mother was with him, 
and he was told by a lot of officials while he was in line that he couldn't vote. He still stayed there, and when he managed to get get into uh, when he managed to get his ballot finally, apparently he couldn't get an actual ballot because he, they could not find him in the registry. Again, despite the fact that he was registered in August. So, they gave him a provisional ballot and told him to stick it in box number three. Again, that's just one testimony. There could be thousands more like this. And if, if there are anyone in Arizona that was that are watching this that were affected by it, I suggest you contact Carrie Lake's campaign and give your own testimony as well. Now, considering the situation in regards to that, in regards to... Uh, What's been going on with testimony being made, as well with a lot of the problems in regards to uh, the county of Arizona, the issue of the issue of Kay Hobbs not recusing herself, Maricopa County officials having a slight bias against MAGA Republicans, to put in, make it an understatement. I think that Kay Carrie Lake is going to sue, so that way she can get the cert the results to be decert decertified. I don't know if that's going to happen. Just take a look at the take a look at the court cases back during back in 2020 when Donald Trump, when there were obvious problems within the election itself back in 2020, he tried to issue many uh, court cases, tr tried to get them to the Supreme Court, but either they did not want to look at them for fear of causing such major political division, which I think is really stupid, especially when got in regards to trying to fix an election. But also, they rejected it based upon procedure. They never hear the evidence. I own. I am not going to get people's hopes up. I really do hope that the court does hear about this. It's important for Arizonans to be heard. It is important for them for their votes to matter. And considering, and if it turns out that Carrie Lake, overall, if all of the all of these things did not happen. And it showed that, and it shows that Carrie Lake actually won. Then yeah, Katie Hobbs should not become the governor of the state of Arizona. I really hope that's the case. K Carrie Lake is needed in the state of Arizona. But whether or not, but whether or not she does win this case or not, she still remains a highly popular figure in the Republican Party. Her stardom is not going to disappear overnight. In fact, I think it's going to rise as a result. I think that Carrie Lake, and I agree with Sticks, Hex, and Hammer on this, has ambitions to become the next president of the United States. Whether it be after Donald Trump or DeSantis, who knows. But one thing is for sure, if she does run as president of the United States, and hopefully at that time becomes the first woman to be elected as president of the United States, I will definitely vote for her. My name is Noah Meehan on The Arc Truth. Please post your comments down below, like this video, subscribe, and share with your friends. Also, if you have any issues in regards to my videos or or any improvements I should make, please post it in the comment section down below or directly message me. Thank you. Almost